Let's begin by discussing some fascinating examples of viruses that have defied the icy grip of space and time. One notable example is the pithovirus Cypericum, a giant virus discovered in 2014 in the Siberian permafrost. This ancient virus was estimated to be about 30 thousand years old and found to still be infectious after being thawed from the frozen ground. Its resilience highlights the remarkable ability of certain viruses to withstand extreme conditions even for millennia. Another example is in 2006, scientists aboard the International Space Station conducted an experiment to study the effects of microgravity on a plant virus known for its stability. Now, remarkably, the virus remained viable and infectious even after being exposed to the vacuum of space for several weeks. Now, this finding has implications for understanding the potential spread of viruses and obvious implications in our exploration of space. But in spite of this, viruses have demonstrated their ability to persist and even thrive in these hostile conditions. Why is that? Why can viruses do this, but human cells we seem to not be able to freeze? So let's first tackle the question, what is a virus anyway? Let's dive deeper into the intricate world of viruses and explore how they actually hijack human cells to multiply while they blur the lines between what is alive and what is not alive. So within a virus, its structure, first of all, is relatively simple compared to the complex machinery found in human cells. Most viruses consist of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, and it's encased in a protein coat called a capsid. Now, unlike human cells, viruses lack the essential components for independent metabolism and reproduction. This leads to the question, are viruses alive or are they dead? And it really just comes down to the definition. While they do exhibit some characteristics of living organisms, such as the ability to evolve and replicate, viruses cannot carry out cellular processes on their own and they require a host cell to multiply. In fact, that is one of the main differences that most scientists consider viruses to not really be alive. Because yes, they can replicate, but they require some other host cell in order to be able to do the replication. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.